Hey there awesome people, how are you guys doing? So this is here Vibro from Tech Week and today in this video I'll be taking a look at how to or teaching you how to use research in YouTube channel analytics. So without any further delay, let's get into the video. Well if this is the first time you're watching my video then please do consider subscribing to my channel as 98% percentage. Whew, of you guys aren't subscribed to my channel. So if you really want to support a small creator like me, then it's up to the channel would definitely uh, will be um, then it's up to the channel would be uh, researching. Yeah, you know. Recently, YouTube has brought in this new feature of research in the analytics page of YouTube Studio. That will be an important and really useful way of getting new topics for your YouTube channel, which is pretty great. Now, I did some research in YouTube. Uh, not the research thingy that I'm going to talk about in this video. Ah, uh, let me phrase the sentence again. I did search on YouTube about how to use the research facility or feature in YouTube, but to my surprise, I didn't find any. So I thought of this idea of making a dedicated video of teaching you guys how to use this feature for your own good. Now, it doesn't matter what genre of contents you make or niche. Um, as YouTubers call it, this feature will show you relevant topics for the niche of your channel. If it's for your gaming channel, then it will show you gaming topics or anything as such, like cooking or daily vlogs or uh, you get the point. Uh, I know you're smart enough. Ding! Okay, now to go to the research tab in YouTube Studio, firstly, go to your YouTube Studio of your channel. Click on Analytics. Now you must be looking for my revenue, but don't worry, I'll hide them. <laughs> As if I made tremendous amount of money in my channel. Okay, after clicking on analytics, on top you will find the research tab right here. And if by any chance you cannot find the research tab, then don't worry. Give YouTube some time, they'll get back to you with this feature. Or if by any chance you are like me, crazy like me, uh, you cannot wait, then go to the YouTube support and let them know about this issue because that's what I did. <laughs> and it worked out pretty well for me. I let them know about this feature is missing and bada bing bada bong, the feature is right here. Hooray! Ah, uh, yeah. Um, boop. On the research, you will have searches across YouTube, your viewers search, and saved. In searches across YouTube, you'll find these filters. All searches, or content gap only, country, and language. Currently, only these language and only English language is available. But soon, they'll provide us with more filters. Of course. Um, hopefully. You know what's the best part? Click on all searches, and there you'll find content gaps only. This is the best part of this update, or the new feature, or whatever you want to say. Now, if you click on content gaps only and search for any topics, you will see the results with the only search terms that has content gap. Now, what is a content gap? Well, these are the terms when viewers cannot find any results for their searches or exact match or even relevant videos, or maybe the content is old or low quality, like this video. <laughs> uh, yeah, I am kidding. I know you're enjoying this video. Uh, only if people are watching this video. Snap. So this is a great tool for creators like us, because we may use the content gap as starting point to make videos that don't exist or could be improved. Making our content creators live as easy as making a rocket that uses water to make some noise. Uh, um, what? Ah, uh, crap. So if you ask me what is the best way of using this tool, well, just go to the tab that says your viewers searches, select content gaps only, and now what you will see are your viewers interest in search terms. For example, in my case, my channel is kind of a software as well as a tech um, video uh, thingy channel. Um, my viewers are interested in searching for voice changer app, which I made a video of like a few months back. So if I created a newer video related to voice changer app, then there is a higher chance of getting more views and in turn making tons of <laughs> likes. I know what you are thinking. I can read minds. So go ahead. If you're struggling in searching for topics to make videos for, then this is the best time to do so. 
Well, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. If this video was helpful, then please, a like on this video will definitely help you in growing your channel. <laughs> Jokes on you. Now, if you're looking for the best voice changing application for your computer, then watch this video to your left. And if you're looking for a way of improving gaming on your old trash PC, then watch this video to your right. This is Fibro, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Only if you want to watch.